Heavens, no, I'm foreign exchange. You want Mr. Forbes? Um, that's his secretary over there. Oh, thanks very much. Thank Welcome. You. Excuse me, I'm looking for Mr. Forbes. Have you an appointment? Yes, 12 o'clock. Cook, Andrew Cook. Mr. Forbes, your 12 o'clock appointment's here. Thanks very much. Sorry I'm late, Mr. Forbes. I got held up. Yes, please. OK. Thank you. Alone, eh? I see. Well, Mr Cook, this is actually rather a bad time to be asking for a loan, seeing as we've just been robbed, raided, cleaned out, as it were. The thing is, Mr Forbes, I need the van on Wednesday. Oh. Have you ever thought of stealing a van? <laughs> Goodness me, no. Everyone knows that crime doesn't pay. I wouldn't be so sure of that, Mr Cork. See that chappy over there, the one with the mask on? Yes. Well, he left home penniless this morning, but he'll be returning home tonight with £300,000 in his pocket. Mm. Not bad for a day's work, eh? No. I would suggest in his case, crime certainly does pay. Right. You don't think that he might give me a loan? I suppose he might. After all, he does have the funds. Might be worth a try. Right, Thanks very much, Mr. Forbes. Tit. Excuse me. Here. Take this. And if anyone moves, shoot them. And if you're not here when I get back, I'll shoot you too. Here. You better have this as well. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me.
I certainly had our late night last night when I went along to the charity premiere of Save Your Kisses for Me, the new three-hour Barbara Streisand movie based on the old Brotherhood of Man, Chart Topper. I'll be telling you more about that later. And I believe you had an interesting time last night, Janice, when you went along to Plantini's, that new French restaurant everyone's talking about. Yes, a wonderful time we did have. <laughs> After a superb meal, I met this magnificently well-built basketball player who took me back to his place and uh, gave me the screwing of my life. <laughs> Talk about well-hung. <laughs> it's just amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> That's well, so we're talking of, of close encounters like that. I was actually lucky enough last night to meet Barbara Streisand herself. She passed me in the corridor, and I'll always treasure the words she spoke to me. Get out of my way, you insignificant scum. I'm like... Oh, hello, Mandela. Hello there. Now, this new farmer we got. You can't fool you know... me that easily, Arthur. Sorry about that, love. He's suffering from one of his attacks. You mean I was sucking for one of his attacks? Yeah, yeah. It looked like one of his value-added attacks to me. <laughs> I didn't think it was very funny. Tell that to the attacks inspector. <laughs> very amusing. Anyway, I brought you new barman. <laughs> He's deaf and dumb, but perfectly formed. Oh, well, right. Well, his first job will be to bung my belligerent brother back into his bunk before he becomes... And a tax liability! <laughs> <laughs> a tax liability. Now, that is very funny. <laughs> Security! Ethel! What? It's your identical twin sister in California. On the phone for you. Hmm. Hello? Ethel? The Colombian gold's on its way, and knowing how nosy customs are, I put it in a large brown envelope marked Live Ravis Jones. Do not open. God damn it, give me a goddamn drink, god damn it. God damn it, can't you wait a goddamn minute? I'm goddamn speaking to someone in goddamn England. Goddamn limey, cummy fags, get off your goddamn ass and give me a goddamn bottle, god damn it. God damn, wait a goddamn minute, god damn you. God damn, give me a goddamn bottle, hit me right, go goddamn crazy, start goddamn shooting people here. Hang on a bloody minute, Ethel, I got a wallet to deal with. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it. You still there, Ethel? U N C O N C I O U S. Yeah, I'm conscious. Right. One point a bit. Ah. Uh... And what do you have, Jim? Uh, I'll have a small scotch, please, John. No problem. And what do you want, my dear? I'll have a Brandy Alexander, please. Hey, right. Ah. <coughs> Wayne, Wayne, you all right, Wayne? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It will stop slapping me, then. Hey! Leave it out. Sorry, Don. I had a dream. It was horrible. You were in it. Oh, and it all started with this knock at the door. Here, can you do something about this barman of yours? Uh, uh, sorry about that, Chief. Uh, you were just suffering from one of his attacks. I just go and sort that bleeding bar out there, you're conscious. And leave the punters' faces alone. Wayne. Trousers. Silence about them. Shut up! I'm sorry, sir. It's my fault. I'm deaf and dumb. You! Ah, oh. sorry. May I be of some assistance? Stop! Little armor 
armadillo on the Change to our scheduled programmes early on. After play golf with Peter Alice, at six o'clock there's a special showing of episode three of our Dickens serial Bleak House. That will take us up to five to seven and a slightly earlier start for Whistle Test, which this week features music from Stephen Tintin Duffy, American band The Long Riders, jazz rock guitarist Bat Pat Matheny and there's a film report on the Eurythmics in Paris. Top Gear at 8 o'clock includes the latest in four-wheel drive technology, a report on the Spanish motor manufacturer's Seat, and some tips on buying a second-hand car. There's the unveiling of a unique new car.